Hey everyone, uh, back here at the workshop on another Sunday. Um, not quite as hot as last one, it's a little bit more bearable to work in. Um, I just wanted to cover one thing today. I was talking to a long-term subscriber just over email for the last um, last few days and asked me how the compressor was going, the trailer compressor that I was building um, a couple of years back and whether I ever finished it. Um, the answer is basically sort of. Um, you can see here is behind me, it's on a trailer. Um, I've been towing it, but um, I haven't actually got it on the road yet. I've taken the first step. So it's all been, all the trailers wired up, got number plates all registered. So I'm hoping this week I can go through and get a warrant on it. Um, let me just flick this on. Quickly show what it looks like in the end. So just enlarge these, um, these air vent holes a little bit. Put some mesh in them. Um, two big doors, these panels, uh, you may remember were completely missing. There was no panel on the top. It was basically just the two edge ones and then one of those side panels and everything else was missing. Um, I broke, trying to take it off, the glass um, diesel fuel bowl and that's actually the bottom of a fire extinguisher. It was supposed to be temporary but it doesn't leak so um, it's still on there. Change the wiring a little bit. This solenoid wasn't working, the shut off solenoid wasn't working. Uh, so I changed it up a little bit and it works again. Otherwise, it just had a cable on there. And I'm just considering now whether or not I put the cable back on just as an emergency stop. Um, so the other side, I put this on as well. I was going to go get a jockey wheel for it, but first of all, it rolls too easily and I had all the parts for that, I didn't have to spend anything on it, so that was a bonus. And here it is on the other side. Uh, you may remember from the powder coating video, that was the part that I powder coated, so it's a bit dusty. But as you can see, that was a few years ago now, and that powder coat seems to have held up pretty well despite spending a good period of time outdoors. Uh, new filters on it and um, yeah it tows really nicely so it's not a hundred percent what I wanted to do on it but it's sort of gotten to the point where I can get it on the road and then I can decide whether or not I'm going to keep this one or whether I flick it on I could do with a bit of working capital I've got a bunch of projects that I really want to get into and try but I can't justify taking money out of the business to do them so um, I don't use this one as much anymore so uh, if I can flick it on once it's on the road and then free up some money for a couple of other things that I want to do for the business, then um, I'll go ahead with that. But other than that, I'll um, might link in a couple of videos, uh, sorry, pictures of how it started out and, and um, the stages that it went through. So see, it's a bit dirty at the moment. It's been up and down the driveway a few times, so... Um, but yeah, so this is for that particular subscriber, um, just to see where we're at with that compressor, and I um, thought there may be a couple of other people out there that might be interested, so yeah, I thought I'd just quickly film that and throw it up. Thanks for watching.